Well, I just wrapped up this university semester as of earlier today when I submitted my final project for one of my classes. And now this semester is fully wrapped up and I have some time to stream some stuff. I have not been streaming a whole lot lately at all. Also, this is not even done installing it. Also lag as we switch over to the layout and it loads all these images again for the first time in forever. Uh, it's installing right now. I don't know what I need to do to access the new DLC. We'll find out as we go here. And yeah. There's that. I appreciate it. <laughs> one more semester to go, and then I graduate. And next semester is going to be a really, really crazy one. I guess while we're waiting, I may as well talk about the current channel stuff around here. Next semester is going to be a super crazy one, because I'm cramming in a whole lot of stuff before graduation here. I'm going to be developing two video games. Is probably going to be a massive part of my time. I have to do a lab section for a class that I took the lecture of over five years ago. I just got my neighbor's notes from the class the other day. So th that should hopefully help me out because I don't know if I'm going to be supplied the lecture material and we'll see how that goes. So the current schedule around here, and it's been like this for a while and I have not streamed many of these for a good while. A little while back, I finished off Super Mario RPG. How often have I been streaming? So here's today. Then there was, yeah, a week ago. Uh, where we finished off Super Mario RPG. And then here's another Mario RPG thing for Bob here. Uh, that was November 25th, November 22nd, November 18th. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've not exactly streamed a whole lot lately. When was the last time I touched these games? I guess I can take this off of the schedule now, replace it with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But now that the semester's wrapped up, and since I've been working full time, but I don't plan on going in next week, I plan on taking the time that I can to do what I can damage-wise to these before all hell breaks loose next semester. So this shouldn't be super long. I'll power through this even though it's been really boring. What are you talking about? Could it? Oh my god. Uh. Sure, I guess. Okay, <laughs> just <laughs> get it. Also, why am I on Wi-Fi? I have my LAN adapter plugged in, but that's Nintendo for you. Also, I wanted to try out something different today with a 3D printing cam, so let's see here. The thing that is being 3D printed is one of these pots. One of these cute little dragon scale thing where bobs that i think look really nice this isn't a metallic red filament it's a light green that's loaded in there right now because i've recently been growing apples these are a type of red apple they have red skin and red flesh and they grow here my neighbor gave them to me from a friend's yard because she thought that i'd find them interesting and i do but i have no idea what the species is called but i also sprouted a type of green apple that i think i know the species name i just don't have it memorized i don't know what it is right now uh, that sprouted recently, and I need to transplant that into its own pot, so that's what I'm printing right now. I have three red pots for my red apples, and I'm printing a green pot for my green apple. You might hear a little bit of the fan in the background whenever I'm speaking of, you know, the 3D printer going, but, you know, I figure if Pokemon doesn't care about the quality of their, <laughs> of their game, why should I care about the quality of my audio while I'm streaming and streaming it? So we're trying something a little bit different today with a 3D printing cam. Just wait, next time we're gonna have, like, subway surfer and family guy funny moments and we're gonna stack it all up everywhere <laughs> low-key though i actually think that 3d printing stuff is really cool and you know i find it satisfying just watching the machine sometimes so maybe that can be interesting here too i don't know i don't know i don't know what i'm doing it's a new experiment that we're trying out today and yeah so let's see here catch up on other stuff here but enough of current events let's suffer from whatever pokemon cooked it's been a, yeah a bit a week here but hey at least whispers in the walls is really good i I've heard that name mentioned around. I don't actually know what it is, though. Uh, yeah, congrats. Start your second semester in January yourself, hoping to get in a 3D animation class. Yeah, nice. Um, when it comes to 3D animation stuff, there was a class that I was going to take on 3D modeling and animation that used to apply to the game design certificate. But one of the main people behind the game design certificate at my university told me that the class used to be good. It used to be all about group work and working together at these assignments but now it's just poorly given lectures by tas because the professor's mentally clocked out and then it's like a big project at the end and that's why it's not part of the certificate program anymore i was like oh okay so i was enrolled in that class but i dropped it after he told me that and convinced me to do a research project under him instead which is gonna be like one of the video games i'm developing um 
I'm gonna do the three days early access skull and bones. Oh, are they doing like a three day early access thing? Is it if you buy like one of the bigger bundles or something? Is it one of those situations? This is clever. Do I have the pleasure of speaking with Master Harmony? No. Oh yeah, I stood here saying that like I might come back and do the stupid Dex thing with home to talk with her and see what she did. And I never bothered because I didn't care enough. My my, it certainly does this old heart good to be greeted with such a lively response. Now, if I could take but a moment of your time, we've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warranty. There's something we must discuss. Master Harmonia, you're about to be presented with an exceptional opportunity. To, <laughs> to triple the amount of money you invest. You already know of Unova Region's Blueberry Academy, I presume. No. What's that? Oh, now this is a surprise. I heard you were taking part in our joint trip with that fine school. In any case, the director of Blueberry Academy happens to be an old friend of mine. And he told me that he would be delighted to host you as an exchange student at his school. I believe it would be a fine chance for you to learn even more about the world. MORE KNOWLEDGE! One should always take advantage of new challenges like this, don't you think? Though I must confess, I was a bit surprised that Blueberry's director would specify you by name. Plot armor. Still, I think it's best that you meet with the man at least once to find out what he might be thinking. He is admittedly a bit of a character, but not to worry. I'll be there when you meet him. Once you feel ready to respond to this offer, I ask that you come by my office so we can discuss the specifics together. Now, I won't take up any more of the time. Do take care until we speak again. Okay, so I have to go back to the main region? I... I don't know how to do that. Can I just fly? This is... not the main map. This is not remotely the main map. Unless it want me to go somewhere... No, it's gotta be on the main map, right? Also, how do I change back into my normal gear? I don't think I want to be in this anymore. I'm surprised I remember the buttons to do stuff like that, but... Is there... Hold on, there's gotta be a changing thing in here, right? Um... But yeah, let's see here. Uh, but anyway, I hope things are going well today. Mortis, Redora Master, and CJ, and Hikari! My project, my project's done. I'm done with university as of today. Thank goodness. It was, it ultimately turned out to be an 18 page lab report on uh, the expansion of urban and cropland areas around my city and area uh, and loss of forest areas and how it relates to the difference in population from 2010 to 2020. And it was a bit of a task, but yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, resisting the urge to make a joke about three printing dicks on Twitch. Yeah, Twitch kind of rolled out some new policy changes yesterday that makes their sexual content policies a lot, lot, lot more lenient. Because that's Twitch for ya. Yeah, Whispers in the Walls is the new Warframe content update. Okay, gotcha. And school is a plot point that exists in this mess of a code. Yeah, it is. Wait, is there... Restroom can be used by any... No, how do I change? I, I'm pretty sure there's places that I can conveniently do so at the main place, the main game place, right? Paldea, I guess. I don't know if this counts as part of Paldea. I wasn't sure what to call it. I I don't know. I, oh, change map. Oh, okay. But if I just go to, okay, I gotcha. If I just go to a clothes shop here. Yeah, gotcha there. If I go to a clothes shop, then. I should be able to change into my normal stuff unless the new DLC wants me to change into some new apparel as well, in which case I'll have just wasted my time getting changed to dress for success. But I, I don't like this outfit. So, also, the game quiet? Is my own volume just quiet? I'll turn up my own volume. Looking at OBS, it looks like it should probably be fine. Where? Wait, I think around the... Gosh dang it! Oh, I have not missed this game. Um, I think around the main square, there was a bunch of closed places cars. I remember in my video essay talking about how some of the ads weren't even relevant to the things being sold in the uh, places. So yeah, over here, there, oh my goodness, the colors. Hold on, there's this one, yeah, this place. <laughs> this one here, no, come on. This place that looks like it sells super stylish jackets, pants, and shoes. And it doesn't sell any of those. The shopkeeper knows your teal style card. I quietly pulled out this special style catalog. And <laughs> very discreetly pulled out all the illegal drugs. 
Word of your stylishness quickly spread to all boutiques in Paldea. What is this? Like, Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes? Wasn't that a big thing in that game? Or am I getting mixed up with a different Zelda game? I'm pretty sure it was that one on the 3DS that was all, like, clothes-themed. Stuff. <laughs> can I just change here? Wait, I- No, I remember now. I can change into things that I can buy here. Oh, come on. But I can change clothes ugh, anywhere out in the field. I'm remembering. Hold on. It was a D-pad button. Was it down? That's camera. Was it right? Second try. Was it right? Does right do anything? Oh, third try. Uh, no notices. Hold on. Left? Loading something. Oh. Ah. Wait. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I'm still stuck with this stuff. I... Because it's been a hot second since I played this game, I was half expecting to load this up and have a sword and shield style options for jacket and pants and stuff. I honestly kind of forgot that I have to put on a stupid uniform. Dang it. There's a Master Ball and Mystery Gifts? Guess I can have a look-see. And use it on, like, a Magikarp or something. Yeah, it's it's winter time here now. Well, at first I was like, try on. What? I thought I already have. These socks look amazing! Oh, maybe I need to actually press A to, uh... Oh, you can't hover over them in preview. No. Oh. Weird. Um, let's see here. What was I using before? Those me? Performance sneakers? White? They look weird. They look like a slightly toned down Kingdom Hearts shoe or something. I like the gloves. Those are cool. The, that, I guess. Was that what I was using before? Was I using the school backpack? That looks cooler, in my opinion. School hat? Probably not the school hat. No, thank you. Sporty cap white? Because I want something that was similar to my, uh, my hat here. Yeah, I think I used that one. Sporty cap normal, right? School helmet? <laughs> school gets pretty darn dangerous. It's not for the faint of heart. What happened to my eyes? Oh, never mind. Okay. Horn rimmed glasses black? Oh, yeah, because they look kind of like, oh. My actual glasses, glasses. And then, yeah, we have the cat phone. But my hair looks not right, though. And I I can't edit my hair here. This is not my hair. This is someone else's hair, not mine. Oh, God. How do I find a hair place? Is your eyes worse than you remembered? Yeah. That's fair enough. What do the hair places in this game look like? I do not want... Oh, that's a tree. I do not want to go around looking like this. There has to be something in Mesa Gosa, right? Is this hair? Oh, this has got to be hair. There's the blue and red thing where Bob that always signifies barbershops for some reason. The universal flag for it. You know, it's your teal style card. Suddenly, no, this is your teal style card. Sounds so weird. Hair styling. Great, I'll get everything prepared then. Oh my goodness, the zoom in there. Hold on. What did I use before? Maybe I'll go with something else that looks kind of cool. Like, I have long hair, so I like to play into it. Uh, select back. Nope. I think I was doing that? I do also have a ponytail a decent bit of the time. I could go with the ponytail and then mix it up a little bit for my main game playthrough. That's not half bad. Oh yeah, look how long the list is. There's actually a lot of hair options in this game. That was something that I praised this game for, I remember. One of the few points I had where it was like, wow, that's actually pretty cool. But I will look through them all really quickly just to make sure. I forgot to get two new Pokemon from Mystery Gift Cozy. Get Shine Lucario and Darkrai. I heard about the Shiny Lucario. I think I saw it posted on the platform formerly known as Twitter. But uh, I don't think I heard about Darkrai there. What am I getting notifications for? Oh, a whole bunch of classes that I watch listed, but I don't need to go into it anymore now that next semester is sorted out. <laughs> I mentioned this Animal Crossing scenario in the most recent video essay on violence slash depictions in games, where a lot of the time, depending on what you're depicting, a lot of people will treat it as you're not allowed to depict things in a certain way, and there was that whole fiasco with Animal Crossing with space buns. And My god, I still can't believe that's a thing that happened. 
Oh, there's new things. Kitagami ponytail. Oh. I like a ponytail, but I like it more out the back. Up dough. Just missing the G at the end. Um, center parted bob? Eh. Shoulder length bob? Nah, I don't know if my hair is quite like that. If it was like this on both sides, then maybe I'd do it. Half up bun. Bantu knots. Maybe I'll just go with the ponytail. Maybe what I'll do. Yeah, sure. Then let's get to work. Sure, let's mix it up. Hopefully it doesn't look too out of place with my hat. And hopefully the hat doesn't take it off. Uh, yeah, I'll wear it. Your new do will still look great with something on top, don't you worry. No! No! I was hoping that the ponytail will go out through the back of the... This completely misses the point. All right, never mind. I changed my mind. No more, no more ponytail. It was short-lived. This, yeah, it's not gonna be able to show that anyway. Yeah, I take back the positives I gave about the customization in the uh, about the hair customization at least in the video essay. It's all taken back. Should I just do that? What? What was the other thing that I did sometimes? Was that the one that I... No, I don't... I don't know. Let's try it. Let's try this. My hair might look something like that when I let it down. But yeah. Love the Kitagami ponytail. Yeah, it's definitely cute. Yeah, Dark Rise to celebrate the final moon of the year. Oh. There. That looks not half bad, right? There. Also, wait. What's my party? Does it have... Yeah, it does have Ethel, not a Ogre Pond. I thought it might have Ogre Pond. There. I'm changing up my hairstyle a little bit from the main game. I don't remember exactly which one I had. It was one of the ones on the main game list there. I mean, obviously, but... <laughs> whoa! Whoa! Okay, we're... <laughs> okay. <laughs> what was I do? Oh, yeah, I was going up to go see the Glavel or whatever the heck. Oh, my goodness. The <laughs> These physics are going to crack me up, aren't they? Just avoid all the pedestrians out here. I'm not playing 1976's Death Race out here. <laughs> Reference that recent video essay. Oh, uh, man. Yandere Simulator has hair physics? Is that what the hair physics look like in Yandere Simulator? Is that how it goes? I like the colors on his suit and stuff. At first, I was like, do I love it or hate it? I think I love it. You've got, like, the white shirt underneath, and then the black whatever the heck under like over shirt or maybe it's just one piece there and then the actual jacket with the blue insides that's actually pretty nice but yeah <laughs> we don't talk about that again it's too violent oh you're talking about yandre i i imagine death race 1976 for a hot second which was one of my key examples in that video i yeah i heard a smidge about that i don't even know what the video game itself is about i've heard the name like thrown around before hmm we have here. No, I've seen your face somewhere before. Where are you again? Have you seen my videos? Uh, uh name's Harmonia. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're Harmonia. Yeah. Yes, I know you. Well, now that you're here, let's get going. Thought I was gonna go see Clavel. Wait, wait just a moment, Director Sirenno. Sirenno sounds like a Pokemon villain name. Maybe it just sounds too close to Cyrus or something. Oh, hello there, Veli. You're as lively as always. Didn't realize you were here. Of course I'm here. As director of this academy, who else would I be? Do address me properly while students are present, would you? More importantly, what are you doing out here? I thought we had agreed to meet in my office. Did we? Must have slipped my mind. Anyway, what's it matter? This is the student, right? Oh, and he has a scarf, too! Well, yes, he is, but I'm down for this guy's style. I appreciate the fall there, Mr. Voido. Ah, I do apologize, Master Harmonia. He must be terribly confused. It's weird that he's not wearing any socks, though, but who am I to judge? The rest of his fit is so good. This is Director Sirenow of Blueberry Academy. As I mentioned on the phone, he's interested in accepting you as an exchange student. Yep, that's me, Director Sirenow. Uh, did I not mention that? One look at our young friend here makes me suspect you indeed failed to clarify that point. 
Did that guy on the left pop in or am I going crazy? Speaking of which, why did you request Master Harmonia specifically to take part in your exchange program? Well, because he shelled out for the DLC. The <laughs> market up from normal expansion pass prices DLC is why. Because he had the modern cheat code, the three wacky digits on the back of the credit card is why. Excellent question, Philly. It's very simple. Money. You see, the reason is... My hair is thinning a bit. Uh, hmm. Why did I put in that request? Oh, that's right. School trip to Kitakami. I only met some of my students there, didn't he? Yes, yes. One of them was named Carmen, I believe. She's the one who recommended you. I like that look. Now that I've gotten to meet you for myself, yeah, I've got a good feeling about you. Oh, I'm glad to hear that, Director Cyrano. Cyrano, Cyrano, maybe I'll just start saying Cyrano. I think it sounds nicer. I'd just love for you to visit my school. You'll be a breath of fresh air, so to speak. Yeah, I'm sure I would be. Considering the stuff that I talk about when it comes to Pokemon. Uh, well, if anything can be said about Director Cyrano, it's that he has a keen eye for talent. I would be thrilled if you went to Blueberry Academy and got to know the students there. But only if you're willing to, of course. You know... If I was not a content creator, I would not be willing to. I, I'm streaming this a little bit later than I expected. I've actually been home for a decent while. It's almost 10 p.m. I'm starring this when I did because when I first got home, I did not have the energy to do this. I had to power nap for like two and a half hours. <laughs> it was the case before I felt up to actually playing this. You know, yeah, let's see if the investment was worth it. Let's see here. <laughs> Think of it as a chance to further expend upon your treasure hunt. I wish I could accompany Master, Master Harmonia, but I'm afraid I must ask you to watch over him in my stead. You will watch over him, won't you? Uh, of course. I never let anything happen to one of your students. Hope this experience leads you to even more you can treasure. Best of luck to you. I love how the Gengar barely looks over the counter. Just give me a holler whenever you're ready to head to my Blueberry Academy. Hi. Are you all ready to kick off your studies abroad at Blueberry Academy? Hell yeah! Great, then let's get going. Yeah, let's head on out with this stranger. Ah. Guess for both the DLC areas, we take a flight. Nice. Isn't this out in the middle of bumblefuck nowhere in the ocean? Do we take a seaplane? The hidden treasure of Area Zero. When we just flew who knows how many miles away from Area Zero. Part 2. The Indigo Disc. Whoa. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, I guess it's somewhere there. Yeah, if it's in Unovan territory. So literally the other side of the planet from Area Zero. <laughs> like, what? How is it the hidden treasure? Okay. ta -da! We're here. Mmm, look at the frame rate of those guys in the far back. Welcome to my Grand Blueberry Academy. It definitely looks better at some angles than others. This is actually just the entrance. The school itself is mostly underwater. Isn't that amazing? There was a time that I thought it'd be really cool to make an underwater base in Minecraft or something. Then I realized how much work it'd be in it. I was like, eh, no. Oh, did you notice? Maybe one day I will in my series when I get around to picking that up again. I don't know. How blue the place is. I can't tell you how long I spent picking the perfect blueberry color. Let's see. What? Is, you know, another really cool berry that's blue is Hascaps. I'm growing a whole bunch of those. I have five of them upstairs and 22, I believe, on my desk at work. Uh, I was thinking about taking down a couple of my little or Hascap sprouts that I still have around here down like down here while streaming but instead i decided to take my apple sprouts because they say that plants apparently do better when you talk to them and show them love and affection and stuff so i decided to take my new apple sprouts and bring them to stream here the last time i brought plants to stream with me it was when i was streaming pikmin because pikmin it's fitting but here i just wanted to do it for fun because we're 3d printing one of those pots but these only came up from the ground at all like two days ago and they're already a semi-decent size for that let's see what else 
So I'm pretty excited about growing some really funky, cool apple varieties here. Uh, perhaps you have something you'd like to ask me. And part of me also brought them down just because I want to show that off because it, I think it's cool. Uh, I'll probably have to go through all these, right? But yeah, just in the middle of the Atlantic. Hopefully there's no wicked storms. Yeah, it really is a safety hazard. So yeah, sounds like safety hazard to have an underwater school. You know, kids will break the walls somehow. <laughs> just some troublemaking students bashing the glass. Really? That's what you're curious about? Oh, I, I've already forgotten what I asked. I'm going to be honest. But very simple. See, it's... Uh, I think it was why the school was underwater, right? Because the school building is attached to an undersea plant that develops natural resources. I... I know what I wanted to draw attention to, I just didn't know how to put it into words. The ears there. I wasn't sure what to call them. Elf ears? Cat ears? The weird gem-like things? What have you got going on here with the ears? Right? That's what I've heard. Yes, right. Exactly. Took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, oh. Okay, they're hairpins. Always on point, aren't you, Lacey? <laughs> oh no, it was nothing. We have a guest today. I do. Monia is here as part of the exchange program. Make him feel welcome, eh? I was about to say, this is so much bright white. I looked over at my camera to see if you could see it on my face. How much it illuminates my face. I mean, if I briefly turn off my monitor, will it be a significant difference? A little bit. Not actually as much as I thought it would be. If I turn my monitor back, gone here. Hold on. This is the exchange student from the Paldea region. I suppose I didn't introduce myself, did I? I'm Lacey, one of the second year students here. Also, I haven't mentioned it yet, but I have noticed it in a few cutscenes. That weird s single frame or few frame flashes of little black splotches or lines on the characters. I think I called it the Morbius glitch because it looked like an effect that you'd see in the movie Morbius. Um, <laughs> I noticed it like on her coat that time. Also, there was a uh, <laughs> completely unrelated, but thinking about that, when I was in Italy last year's October, I uh, started recording some clips on my phone while I was there to talk about how Assassin's Creed abstracts the past to kind of do a redo of that one video essay if I ever got around to actually making it to a video essay. And one of the clips that I recorded was how I got some in-flight entertainment of Morbius. Just like, oh yeah, I got the perfect in-flight entertainment if I ever made a video essay that was like telling the story of the trip alongside this video essay. And then I never, never got around to making it. Now there's just a random clip that I have on my phone or on my computer now. <laughs> Me pulling up Morbius on the in-flight screen seat thing. Anyway, that's neither here nor there, but talk about that glitch remind me of that. I just wanted to mention that because it's lost to the void and might never see the light of day. Who knows? It must be something, it must really be something special, you know? Yeah, I can afford the DLC. It's rare for Director Seer now to remember the name of a new student. Ha, just call me out, why don't you? Actually, I've got an idea. Why don't you explain how things work around here, Lacey? You, you want me to do it? Well, yeah. I know this tour guide stuff isn't my strong suit. Well, that's certainly true, but still, I imagine there must be someone more suitable than me. Oh, please, don't take it like... It's not that I don't want to show you around or anything. Director Cyrano just has this bad habit of pushing his duties onto me, you see. You don't have any socks either. Does no one wear socks here? It's just not right. You're letting me have it today, aren't you? Ah, there's the Morbius glitch again. That said, this might be my chance to get to know the new student everyone's talking about before anyone else can. That decides it. I will take on this task. I guess I only did get to ask one thing. Excellent. Now then, let's head straight down this bridge and on and to the entrance. On you go. Okay. But yeah, let's see here. It's gonna be a Legends Arceus snow situation again where it just like flashbangs us. So far, it doesn't look as bad, luckily. We'll see if that changes. But yeah, and welcome back, CJ. Or Morbius, no. This is pretty darn bright, though. Does have to be said. I'm gonna turn my own volume a little bit. This is the entrance to Blueberry Academy. A school puts a great deal of emphasis on the art of Pokemon battling. So, back there, is that white cylinder looking thing part of the plane that we would have presumably come on? Or 
What's over there? How did we get here? What is that? We hold official matches on the central court right here at the entrance, and any student can freely utilize this court if it's not otherwise in use. I think it's safe to say you'll be battling more here than in any other school. Zach, couldn't have said it better myself. Director Sierno, I think perhaps it's fine if you just leave the tour to me. So, it's really relaxing here, with the sea breeze blowing over you. Even when no one is battling, you often see students lazing about in the stands at at least 3 FPS. Oh, hello, oh, oh, and there's one other quality of our school that you'll likely find surprising. Wild Pokemon sometimes terrestrialize here. I'm surprised there's wild Pokemon here at all, apart from maybe like the Wingull. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that guy just popped in along with his eggs. Oh, I suppose that's not anything special as someone from Paldea, is it? The terrestrial phenomenon was first discovered in the Paldea region, after all. We've taken things a step further than you and your Terra Orbs. We've developed some neat tech ourselves. Something that lets us control the terrestrial phenomenon on our own turf. Oh, is this going to lead into something evil? Because that's how it works in Pokemon? I don't know. Maybe not within a shorter story like a DLC thing. Maybe if it was a main game story, then it would. I bet that piques your interest, doesn't it? No. Um, sir, I think it will be easier to understand how all that works after we go to the lower level. If you could put a little pin in that thought. Always thinking ahead. That's our Lacey. Oh, you know what? I think it'd be great if the two of you had a battle. What? Right now? Why not? I'd like to see what Harmonia here is capable of. But our Lacey is a member of the Elite Four and the League Club we have going on here. To say nothing of the influence of her father. One of Unova's famed one of the Unova region's famed gym leaders. Which one? I bet you'll learn a thing or two. I wish you wouldn't go spreading personal information without asking first. It's just not right. Give me a good show now, you two. I'm sorry, but there's no negotiating with Director Cyrano once he gets an idea in his head. There's no way that he'll move on with the tour until we've given him his battle. Besides, I have to admit I'm a little excited myself at the chance to battle you. Here at Blueberry Academy, we tend to go for double battles. Oh, or Pokemon Coliseum intensifies? Let's give one a try to get to know each other a little better. So, um, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet had no double battles at all, except for one gym? And if you want more, you gotta shell out for the extra expensive DLC. You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Lacey. What were those, Nest Balls? Plusle and Minun. I love all these figures that are constantly popping in around here. I suppose I'm representing Blueberry Academy in this battle. I'll try not to disappoint. Oh, I gotta turn my volume. This is a remix of an old theme, right? Is this a Gen 5 theme? She's Clay's daughter. Oh. <laughs> Fight for my amusement. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was it dress like supposed to be Paldea only? Well, them darn Americans with their copying anything cool that's going on anywhere else. <laughs> you know? So, there's that. So, how did that Titanic movie go again? I don't know. I, I don't... It's probably not too important, though. Honestly. But yeah, I think Lisa's mom is a laser? Hmm. Double battles all the way down. And Gen 5 battle music? Yeah, that's pretty hype. Say you watch a retrospective video on Scarlet Violet by Wolfie VGC. He used a clip from one of my videos once using Chatot, I believe, <laughs> from my Pokemon Platinum playthrough. Still likes the base game, though he says that motion sickness stopped him from finishing the DLC yet. Is there, like, more motion in the DLC? Yeah, the Gen 5 music. Should be all Gen 5 music and our remix? That'd be cool. That'd be pretty neat. Yeah, it seems pretty nice so far. Uh... I don't know. Just do that. And then... Yeah, this is familiar to me. Here, just do this. Yeah, I remember that. Go, Mokuana. There was a, there was a, also another YouTuber a little while back that had done a video essay on, I believe it was Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. It might've been Legends Arceus. Um, that was quite the harsh blow. Let's see, how should I turn this around? Oh yeah, it was Legends Arceus, I'm fairly certain. Where... He was talking about a little bit of the games up to this point and said that he hadn't played BDSP. But, uh, you know, if you want to find out what's going on with those games, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl, I highly recommend Acoustic Harmonia's video on the topic. I remember encountering that and I uh, left a comment saying, I wouldn't. Guy's a jerk. Um, but that, uh, that YouTuber reached out to me about a week ago saying like, hey, I'd like to make a really big essay project on 
like a bigger picture Pokemon thing, but I'm not sure where to start. Are you interested in that kind of a project? I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know, just do this. But I said that I needed to wrap up university before following up on stuff, so I'll follow up on that in the near future. This is what I'll do here. No. Oh. oh, okay. Ouch. But yeah. I have a day you get a shout out from a world chat. But it wasn't really a shout out. It was just the needed footage of a chat dot and stuff. I don't even know if my name was on the screen or anything like that. I know that it was credited in description at least where it's like, hey, here's footage used stuff. I don't know whether it was on screen. And it's not like it showed me or advertised my channel or anything. It just showed the game. So it's not really a shout out. <laughs> uh, it looks like my plus minus strategy isn't working. Guess it's time to go all out with pure strength. Okay, extra drill. Yeah, that would make sense to be Clay's daughter then. But yeah, you know, I'd honestly actually love to see something like Coliseum and XD again, but faster. Yeah, they were pretty slow games. Here, let's just, sure, I don't know. My name is on this. Okay, neat. I still don't think that that got anyone to go to my chat. Like, how many people are going to watch a video about Chatot's history in competitive Pokemon and see some clip from another channel where here's Chatot in the games that he was originally from and go, holy shit, that was the best Chatot gameplay I've ever seen in my life. I gotta go to that channel. You know, like, I don't think that that's really gonna get a whole lot of people to come on over. If there's anybody watching this that <laughs> that is here because they saw some sick chat talk gameplay on another channel there, please let me know. I would love to hear about that. That would be amazing. Sure, do that, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, being slow is the main reason you haven't completed it. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. That would be neat. We guys have versions of the Ori games with the option of fast forward battle animations. Maybe that's what I should do. Uh, when we eventually play- No! Dang it! When I eventually play XD, because on emulator you can just fast forward it. Well, it should redirect anyway. Um, but yeah. And yeah, I definitely prefer to avoid spoilers. This is what I would like here. Opposing Plusle Fainted. Fainted Pokemon Trainer Lacey. Good job, Lotus and Kirby. I needed to look over at OBS and remind myself on the names because it's been a hot second. Well, you beat me soundly. It was definitely all of you. It's like in Smash Ultimate where you play Pokemon Trainer and kill your opponent at the same time you kill yourself. So on the victory screen, it rotates to the next Pokemon. And it's like, awesome work, Charizard, when Charizard did nothing. That's basically what it was with these two Pokemon. Or next to nothing. Spectacular. You really are quite skilled. I wish I could have seen you terrestrialize one of your Pokemon, though. I'd love to see how someone from Paldea does it. Wait. I thought the reason that we could in Paldea was something specific to the region. And apparently the way they do it here is with some sort of technology or something. So I just kind of assumed that I couldn't terrestrialize, I'm going to be honest. I, I'm sure the option was there, but I just didn't. Okay. Um, students here at Blueberry Academy were only recently issued Terra Orbs, so I hope you'll be able to teach us more about them. Well done to the both of you. You really battled it out blueberry style. <laughs> Speaking of style, couldn't help but notice your uh, Terra card or whatever the heck that thing was. I forgot I had a uniform for you. You'll feel like you fit in as soon as you're dressing the part. It's gonna undo my hair, isn't it? Oh. Totally is. Oh, it didn't! Whoa! I look like I fit in right alongside as a sidekick for Popeye or something. On a sailing journey. It, it suits you beautifully. Oh, that's what I call fashion. Oh, you can take this as well. You obtain the Indigo Style card. Put the Indigo Style card in your bag's GM's pocket. Having one of these cards increases the selection available to you at boutiques at hair salons. That should give you a few more options when you visit shops and salons in such in Paldea. American privilege. Now that you look the part, and hopefully feel it too, why don't we head into the school? You can pick- Whoa, even the text is lagging. You can pick where you want to go from the gates over there. Come on, I can show you the pride of Blueberry Academy, our world-famous terrarium. Okay. What is going on with my hair? It's so weird. Oh, man. Yeah, it does kind of look like Charon, huh? And they have a Terra Soup Ball. 
Welcome to Blueberry Academy. You can get to the school facilities using the gates on the other side of this desk. Oh, I guess that's what I'm doing then. Where do you want to go? I guess this is the only place I can go. On Undersea Nature Park where you can learn about Pokemon as you explore its four biomes. Oh yeah, this is the thing that I saw screenshots of. I have seen that there's been additional trailers and early release material and stuff for this. I And even some clips of people playing it that have been circling around online lately. I've tried to stay as completely in the dark as possible. But this I've seen from some of the early trailers and stuff. Let's see what it looks like. 